Ooh, how did you lose your balance, little kitty? You are an expert at rope walking. Kitty's head went round and round. Oh, please keep an eye on it. If such things repeat, it may be a sign of vertigo. 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 A topic we will explore by answering a head spinning question. What causes vertigo? Zoom in. So, what is vertigo? In simple terms, vertigo is an intense form of dizziness where you feel as if you or your surroundings are moving or spinning while you are standing still. This sensation often makes you feel off balance, sometimes to the point where you might feel like you are going to fall over. To understand why this happens, let's first learn how we maintain our balance. To help us maintain our balance, our eyes inform our brain about what we see, while our muscles and joints inform our brain whether we are moving or standing still. At the same time, a part of our ears, called the vestibular system, also becomes involved. Its job is to understand balance, our positioning and when we are in motion. This system includes the saccule and utricle, which help us determine which way is up and down. It also has semicircular canals filled with a special fluid called endolymph. These canals sense when we are turning or rotating our heads. Typically, both canals on the opposite side of the head send similar signals to help our brain understand our head's movement correctly. The vestibular system integrates all this information with what our eyes see and what our muscles and joints feel, providing a complete picture of our body's position and movement to maintain balance effectively. So in short, Issues in any part of this process can result in feelings of imbalance and vertigo. But then, what can cause these issues? Well, there are two possible causes of vertigo. Peripheral vertigo and central vertigo. Peripheral vertigo involves problems in the inner ear, such as vestibular neuritis which is inflammation of the vestibular nerve that sends signals from the semicircular canal to the brain and labyrinthitis, which is inflammation of the labyrinth in the inner ear and often involves the vestibular nerve. Both are usually caused by a viral infection. Other causes include Meniere's disease, which occurs due to an excess of fluid in the inner ear and benign paroxysmal positional vertigo BPPV which is caused by the movement of tiny calcium particles called ortholiths inside the ear. These particles typically aid in detecting head movement and its relation to gravity. However, when they become dislodged and move into the semicircular canals, they can cause dizziness by disrupting fluid movement and sending conflicting signals to the brain. On the other hand, central vertigo is caused by problems in the brain, especially in the brainstem or cerebellum, which are important for balance and spatial orientation. This may include migraines, strokes, multiple sclerosis, tumors or head injuries that damage parts of the brain responsible for balance. But then, how can vertigo be treated? Well, the solution depends on the type of vertigo. But fortunately, peripheral vertigo usually resolves on its own with proper rest, avoiding sudden movements and taking prescribed medicines. However, if the issue persists, even after following these steps, you should make an appointment with your doctor as soon as possible. The doctor can conduct tests and help you feel better and regain your balance. Trivia time! 
Did you know nearly 40% of US adults experience vertigo at least once in their lifetime? Yes, and women are slightly more likely to experience it than men. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Anisha Ajmera. Hope you have learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind.